Hello students, welcome to the third chapter, India's Defense System, Standard 9, Subject Political Science. Let us understand about national security. International system is made up of sovereign nations. Every nation creates a defense system at the national level. Whenever the conflict arises between the nations, it is sought to be resolved by compromises and discussions. In such situations, a nation's first duty and responsibility is to be keep the security systems always well prepared. This is called as national security. National security is more likely to be endangered by the nations who are geographically closer. In order to keep a check on the threat, the nations has to increase its military strength. Hence, some nations try to get the support of other nations to manage the threat to their national security. India's security system includes the army, the navy and the air force, the three factors that defend the country. The responsibility of protecting the geographical boundaries is on the army. Navy protects the coastline, whereas Air Force is in charge of protecting India's airspace. The Ministry of Defense controls all these three forces. President of India is the supreme commander of the defense forces. The defense forces cannot take any decisions about the war or peace without the consent of the president. Many training institutes have set up in our country such as the National Defense Academy at Pune and National Defense College at Delhi. Paramilitary forces help the defense forces in India. They are responsible for the security of important locations like railway stations, oil depots, water reserves, etc. They also play an important role in the management of disasters. The Border Security Force performs the task like creating a sense of security in the minds of people living in the areas near the border, preventing smuggling and patrolling the border. The Coast Guard has been created to protect India's oceanic borders. The Central Reserve Police Force helps the administration in the various states to maintain law and order. Rapid Action Force performs the task during the incidents such as bomb blast or riots. The National Cadet Corps has been established with the purpose of instilling among students the love of discipline and military training. Home guards maintain public security, also supply water and other essential services during riots or strikes, also at the time of natural disasters like floods and earthquakes. Let us know about challenges to the India's security. Pakistan and China have tried to threaten India's national security. There are several disputes between India and Pakistan, for example, Kashmir issue. In the year 1962, India and China war took place. The Naxalite movement is also a threat to India's internal security. National security is not just the security of the country, but also of the people living in it, because security is ultimately for the people. Hence, human security refers to the human-centric thinking. It also includes the protection of the rights of the minorities and weaker sections. Terrorism is the biggest challenge to the human security. It targets the common innocent people and aims at creating terror or fear in their minds. Thus, in order to protect human security, it is necessary to put an end to terrorism. Pollution and the diseases like AIDS, chikungunya, Ebola have presented a big challenge. Protecting human beings from such disease is also considered as a factor of human security. Thus, 
we have seen the change in the concept of security from national security to human security in the next chapter we will study about the united nations and international organizations